What's up, it's the Live Nation, and I'm gonna show you how to go from the stuttery garbage to a game that looks as beautiful as this. Ah, looks so nice. And make sure to stick to the end so you don't miss anything. Let's start with hardware. This game's an interesting one. You could get away with a newer internal GPU, but I would not recommend it to anyone. This C this no, this game is both CPU and GPU intensive. Lowest I would go is a GTX 1050 quad core processor like the 7th gen Intel Core i5 and 16 gigabytes of RAM because it's also a RAM hungry game. This should get you okay results. Another thing you should know that if you're spawning in traffic, you should have at least one core in your CPU per car that's spawned in. Now on to maps. They actually play a key part in performance. If you have a lower NPC, try grid map first. If you have a high NPC, just go ahead West Coast USA, but for lower ends that may crash your system, so be wary. Now for the settings to change. You wanna go to escape, options up here, press display, and then make sure it's on borderless mode because full screen's so annoying. Every single time you click something on the off screen, it's gonna minimize it to window mode. So you don't want to do that. Whoa, I went out of it. And then of course down here, say your resolution refresh rate if you haven't already. This just automatically does it in borderless mode. And then for vertical sync and limit refresh rate, we're going to turn both these off for now. You can always turn them back on later to make it a smoother experience. When we click Control F in the main gameplay, it's going to show up our frames up here. Now we can go back to options and get ready for changing all of our graphics settings for high-end PCs. You can pretty much just set everything to ultra, just click the ultra button, have everything look really nice. Of course, you can do FXAA here because I find it does look a little bit better than SMAA for some reason. And I don't even know why you're watching this video. But if you do want even more performance, one of the biggest hits can be down here over in dynamic reflections, <laughs> reflections and detailed mirrors. So if you're finding that you're having issues with this, you can turn the update rate down to two, uh, which still looks relatively realistic and still quite good. Because if you have it up here, it can really start impacting some frames as you see, it's kind of killing it here. So we can turn that back down and it really kills it when it's in or the vehicle's in motion. Basically that's it. Just keep everything else ultra. I know you got it covered. I recommend just clicking the normal preset here as the presets are actually pretty good uh, when it comes to different types of PCs. It should load up here in a second. Whoa, yeah, it's going to change a couple things including lighting and so on to set everything to normal. But once it loads up, everything's still going to look pretty, pretty nice. You can turn anti-aliasing once again to FXAA. You know, if your PC can handle it, I'd recommend going to lighting quality first as that makes the biggest difference, and then texture quality, and then mesh quality, and then, you know, keep experimenting until you get the frame rate you want and the look you want. You can also turn on dynamic reflection down here, which obviously adds a big improvement, you know, at this sort of one update rate. And then, for example, if we go from lighting to normal to high, not a huge chain, but if we do it to ultra, it's not a huge performance impact, but with everything else sort of tuned down, it can still make it look quite nice as it sort of updates here. <laughs> just adds a little bit of shine. And like I said, just keep tinkering with it until you get those frames you want and look at it. I'm getting a lot of frames right now on this media mode. <laughs> For low end PCs, I recommend actually before even going into the game, clicking lowest over in the main menu because you can go options go to the same spot in the main menu before even loading in definitely don't do it on west coast you're going to want to be in grid map and then from there you want to go light lighting quality up if you can handle it then shadows on then ambient occlusion so we're going to go lighting up to low it's going to make a huge improvement automatically and that's if you can handle it, but it might not, and you might have to play it looking like this automatically, a pretty big difference if it loads up. And then if we go from shadow visibility, it's not a huge hit as well, from none to all, that's automatically a huge difference, right? Just makes it look so much more alive. We can also go down here and click ambient occlusion. That's another big one. <laughs> Man, I am lagging. I'm at three frames over here. Jeez. We can click ambient occlusion and that's gonna change everything. Oh my goodness, yeah. Immediate improvement there. And I recommend just still like tinkering with these settings, going down the list one by one. We can sort of turn up texture quality, mesh quality, lighting quality, 
and so on and so forth. And of course, there's a little like descriptions here if you really wanna know what they do. Now we're going on to the last resort. And that is to turn off any mods that might be incompatible or not useful. Because if an incompatible mod's in this folder, it can wreak havoc on your performance, right? And we're getting a lot of performance right now. So you can unsubscribe from all of these. I know some of them might be good. You might want to keep some of them, but I know some of them can really impact the frames. Cache could be the issue. So in order to clear cache, you're going to want to click play and then click right down here, support tools, and then click clear cache. And that's going to clear all the cache in your system, might free it up, you know, make it a little bit nicer to run. You can also launch in safe mode and you can verify your file integrity furthermore. You could also always try going cancel and launch, launching the Vulkan render that is unstable. Make sure you know that, but it does actually help with the performance quite a bit. And I, I hope they make it stable eventually, please. And there's, there's one more thing, guys, one more thing. And in order to do that, you're just gonna go window settings right over here i believe over in gaming we can click game mode make sure that is on and then we can also click graphics under related settings and then from this page it's going to show everything that is high priority that you've set to be high priority in this case you can change bmg drive to be set as high priority as well in order to do that you're going to click browse and from here, you're going to want to navigate to your EXE file for BMD Drive. So I have that in my Steam. So we're going to go Extra. That's my other one for Steam games. We're going to go BMG Drive and click this. We're going to click Add. And then we're going to set that as High Priority. So we go Options, High Performance with the 3070 that I have installed below. And that's how you save it. And then you click Saved. But of course, I'm going to remove this for now because I want to have my my OBS is my priority. Of course, if you have anything else that could help a brother out, please comment it down below just to be helpful to everybody. And if you guys did enjoy the video, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.